Hello everyone, my name is Laser Incorporated, and welcome to Day Island. What's to say, you kill zombies in a Borderlands style gameplay. Now, I already played a little bit of this when I was going to do a recording test. It works really well. I like loading oh, the story's just hilarious. I used to be on top of the world, brother. All pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in 2004. <laughs> Man, I beat out Dennis Quaid and Matthew McConaughey for Christ's sake. Yeah, so I drank a few beers now and then, popped the occasional pill. That's nothing compared to what the team quacks to shoot me up with just so I could play. And sometimes I just need to numb the pain, you know what I'm saying? My biggest vice was speed. No, not meth, buddy. Adrenaline. I blew every penny I had on the fastest cars I could find. Just so you know, I'm a damn good driver. If that asshole I was street racing hadn't sideswiped me, I never would have crashed. And that, uh, that poor girl would still be alive. That's right. That's right. It's his goddamn fault I shattered my leg in six goddamn places. So I had a few drinks in me. So what the fuck? I drive drunk better than I do sober anyway. Of course, couldn't play worse shit after that. After I got out of jail, I canned my ass that I violated the morals clause on my goddamn contract. Ended up playing semi-pro in fucking Canada. <sighs> but I'm still a name. Oh yeah, I'm still a celebrity. That's why they wanted me to promote their blood drive here. That's why they fucking flew me, first class, halfway around the goddamn world. Because my name still means something. Logan Carter is no goddamn douchebag. Now this game gives itself a ton of different views. Like, if you ever watch the trailers, you know they're very sad stories. They're really sad scenarios of real world zombie apocalypses. But what I just heard from that is going to be really friggin' hilarious, so... It's really all about your experience, how you view this game, and who you choose to go along with and what you do, because that's how much fun you're going to have out of it. I can't really explain this intro very much. It was an opening cutscene that I decided not to show, I really didn't feel like it. It was kind of boring, honestly. Explained it a little bit of this game so far. I can't remain calm if the elevators are offline. That means I have to walk. I don't like doing that. Hell, we're taking a look. Oleand. What's an oleander? I'm pretty sure that's something foreign and I'm pronouncing it wrong, but. I'm still wondering what an oleander is. I'm gonna search that after this video. Um, yeah, you're both dead. That or you just had C-grade acting careers. Which is practically the same thing. Don't mind. I'm just gonna steal your money. Oh, you, you just brought 16 bucks on a vacation to a foreign island? Yeah, you're up a creek without a paddle. Is it... Is this really all I'm gonna get out of these people's suitcases? Like, no phones, no nothing. I'm just gonna rip seven dollars a lighter and more dollars out of these people's suitcases. Press T to toggle your flashlight. Why would I need to do that? Yeah, I'm just gonna take this guy's wallet. I'm just gonna take this guy's friggin' wallet. Why not? Press T to toggle your. I'm toggling my flashlight. Okay, go away. Oh yeah, I, I did this thing too. This, this is kind of a hard thing to get good. You gotta... Uh, dang, I thought I had that. Uh, there we go. That football did something. Large battery. We gotta categorize our batteries. A belt! Why would I need a belt? Why would I... Why would I need a belt? And why is it only worth like nine bucks? These like leather belts are like thirty or forty bucks now, aren't they? That's some sinister music for a locked door. Okay, that guy had twenty-seven bucks. That was that was more than those two in the upstairs. Oh, maybe upstairs. there's something I can use. You all know what I'm talking about. There's a phone! There's something I can actually use in the real world. Not just all this foolish money. 
Oh crap! Oh crap, I didn't mean that. Oh. Oh, just. Finding the cutscene on YouTube and playing it now. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Hope that didn't cause too many problems. I'll probably have put the footage in anyways. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about taking everyone's stuff who is probably dead. I mean, they left it here. Was that glue? I just stole someone's glue? And their lemon juice? Who brings glue and lemon juice to a tropical paradise? Freeze glue! Lemon juice! Why? Through the camera. Feeling all right, mate? No shakes, fever, chills. Oh god, is this gonna be like Good. that Shyamalan movie? Right double. Now we gotta get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're gonna have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Am I going Searching to the Cthulhu with that weapon? By the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. Okay, I'm moving. Ah, uh, control crutch. Control. I'm a lot more used to pushing C to crouch, but... Ah, uh, fine, I'll, I'll just get used to it. <laughs> e is kick? What? Hmm. E is use. It it's like here. a universal term. Why, why kick? It's, it's just strange, honestly. Not bad. I'm sorry, but did I just freaking level up? By opening people's suitcases and taking their glue and their lemon juice! Can't believe it. I'm getting a higher level just opening people's crap than I am killing zombies. More lemon juice! Oh, I need all the lemon juice I can get to outlast these zombies. Oh, that guy doesn't have anything. I'm just gonna take all your crap. Run, run for the storage room. Oh god! No! Just a oh dear! Oh, oh crap! Go, man! He's gonna barely make it. Yes, of course. He barely makes it. Whoa. That was fun. Okay, some survivors pr possess unique and powerful weapons. They may be willing to part with them for a price. Morrisby was a dangerous city even before the outbreak. What that? No, you heard what he said. Can you hear what's going on out there? You won't play inside here. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, my body fuck, tell you? Move. No, stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again! Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Do you know well, I get the saddest part of this game. Oh, man, I should have left with the others. It's not like saddest as in like the most sad. I mean like saddest as in like the, uh, the hell is those trait things thing. came for us. And Why don't you see them? We went out to kill them. Hello. SOS. SOS. There's nothing you fucking do. Help him. SOS. What is it? What if he's a bad? Anyone hear me? Why are you speaking into a microphone connected to a friggin' briefcase? You don't. Why won't anyone help him? You can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. You saved my life. The, the creepy guys that were like really close to my face. 
You going out there? Are you nuts? Don't let him die. If you're not gonna help him, get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Please! He's the only one protecting us. Right. Ooh, paddle! The frick. Alright. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it! Three! Okay, here we oh god. Was, ow! Why? Scooter, you might want to close the door! I forgot to make that joke sooner. Ow. Ow. Boink. I gotta go help my life start friend. Boink. He's next! Whoa! You missed. Good shot, sir. Oh, you ain't going nowhere. Whack! Oh, that's a Nah, he's dead. Man. They're coming again! <laughs> Our lifeguard friend is way OP. Please don't nerf. That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. He doesn't even have a freaking scratch. Our lifeguard friend is crazy. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. We didn't think you were gonna make it. Kill them all. Sounds like kind of a poor rescue mission if you can't even know where they are. Name's John Cinnamoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? No thanks to you. Well, I guess I'm kind of obliged to. Yes. Good. Yes. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune. That don't mean you can't die. Alright. We did, though. Great job, Max. Wait. I can't tell. Are they making out or are they just or does he just feel sad? Not they're not they're not never mind. Just, never mind. Yeah. Wonderful place to end the video right here. I'm Laser Incorporated. Thank you for watching this part of Let's Play Dead Island. If you like this video, please subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more, and I'd love to see you in those comments. Goodbye.